Okay, my name is Mark G, and I'm from uh, Cebu, Philippines, and I live in Woodside, and I'm 27 years old. I've lived in Woodside for over a year now. But I've lived in Jersey City, Brooklyn, Bronx, and Oklahoma City. Well, the, in the last six years, the biggest changes I've noticed are the continuous um, hikes of prices. It's harder for me because, first of all, um, I don't have papers. So it's harder for me to find living spaces where they don't ask you for your history or your SS number or your background. Because I don't, I don't have one in this country. So it's hard for me to negotiate that. Yeah. It's also hard to find jobs, so it's hard for me to save money to find housing. For now, I, I get around like finding employment and housing through um, connections or friends. Mm -hmm. um, people I know or acquaintances that um, help me or direct me to different um, agencies or um, other friends who know of positions who are open, hiring, and or um, vacant rooms that I could rent for cheap or below market prices. I'm from Cebu City. <laughs> yes, I do. I really miss Cebu. Um, especially when you compare your life here and there, like you have your own room, yeah. you have a car, you have a family who you could ask money from. <laughs> and like here, you can, there's nobody you can depend on except yourself and friends. Well, uh, being the only person here with no family in New York, I built a solid group of friends that I could depend on and I've also built a larger network of people I could call on for help and I've also tried to educate myself with different agencies or different services that are mostly free or cheap in the city. Like um, for health, there's some, I know a few organizations that gives like free testing for different kinds of um, diseases or just to check your general health like blood pressure, cholesterol, glucose or check if you have STDs like HIV. Like I know some agencies also give like different trainings for free, even uh, regardless of your status here. What keeps me here, I think, um, is mostly the economic drive. Uh, here in the U.S., you get jobs, whether it be jobs that pay you less than minimum wage, but that's, that's still money. And if you bring back that money to the Philippines, that's equivalent to more than what average Filipinos would earn. There's certain sense of security. Because um, at least here you get to eat three times a day, you have housing, uh, you have money to spend on uh, not so essential stuff in life like extra clothes. So um, I think that's one thing um, that keeps me here. Um, and also you can save extra to send back home to your family. Um, immigrants here in the U.S. are treated differently, and um, especially if you, they know you have you have no papers, you're more prone to abuse. I think. Um, Based on my experience, uh, it helped me to be more uh, conscious of my rights here. Being around people who are also supportive of my situation would also give me support and education on different um, services or different rights that I have here as a immigrant. As an undocumented person, that's one thing that I want to share with other immigrants, both undocumented and not, that they have rights even though it doesn't seem that way.